So this is um, the new kiosk using Fully Kiosk Browser. It's uh, showing our web page at the moment. It will move across after 20 seconds. It starts running a video. It's in a childproof plastic case, as you can see. We're connected up to USB on that side for charging. The rear of the unit has a security lock on it, which um, stops it from being stolen. And it's wired to the building <laughs> or to the frame. Uh, it sits on that there. And as I said, after about 10 seconds, it reverts from our fully browser. It goes fully browser, then runs the um, screensaver, which in this case is all our videos. So these videos are set up to run randomly. Um, this is a, and what we do have also using a couple of other products. It is running via Chromecast up to this uh, monitor. Now to use this monitor correctly, because there's no sound in the monitor, we are also running a speaker box, which is um, basically running off a direct connection. Um, we had to run from the Chromecast machine. We have to run to a VGA outlet and an audio outlet to run the monitor and also run the speaker system. The unit for that is this little fella here. And as you can see, it's powered VGA one side, powered in USB, and um, it's coming out on the other side as uh, audio. And um, from the Chromecast, the HDMI into that. Now, depending on your connection, you may be able to run a straight HDMI, whatever. But to, for me, I had to use that because I had a VGA monitor kicking around. And that works fine. I've set it up to run through a board. So in the morning, all we have to do, turn this off at the wall and we've turned the television, all the USB ports turn off. These are the three components we use. That's Google Chromecast, which um, receives a signal from the um, Samsung tablet, converts it, comes out as a HDMI, that one is HDMI to VGA converter, which gives us an audio as well, uh, which we use to play through our speaker box there, which is Bluetooth as well, but we just run it plugged in. And um, all very straightforward. Took a bit of mucking around to get it right. Fully browser is very programmable in that application. We just drag it across. These are all our settings here. Screen savers, um, and we can save in our screensavers, we have a playlist. So we have a media folder set up there. That media folder is on the SD card, tells it where it is. We're looping the folder, randomly playing it, and it's just save it like that, and that will basically randomly play the videos. Or, or if you have um, photos, files, or that, it will do that as well. So we save that, go back, 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 and they'll go back to that. Now, it also is sensitive. So if it starts running the video and I walk past, I've desensitized it because this is in a walkway, but you can walk past and I'll push my hand through. Nothing happens, nothing happens. But then the camera actually, the camera actually picks up um, the movement and turns it back on to ready to use this section. We can even go out and we have the movies that are on the background there so once we go into our video section we can find a video we might want to play we can play it with a video player or vlc we'll try vlc just once i'm still working on setting this up so now it's playing that video there but also with sound playing it on here now if we were just watching videos we can certainly go in and touch touch anywhere on the screen so we're just watching VLC we can touch anywhere on the screen that gets rid of the um, control panel the control loops and it's just playing on the screen with sound so we can show a customer where our videos and that are and it's something they might be interested in looking at the um, control panel for Chromecast is in home on Google this is an Android device it um, loads that up 
over this side, this one here. It's giving us options on our account. And we have, this one is called Mirror Device. My machine's not optimised, but it works fine. It's actually already connected, but I can disconnect it to that. Then I can connect it. Connect it to the TV, which has got the chrome grass on it. Then I go back to my page there. There's the fully browser. And it's actually running that already, so it's running in standby mode or screensaver. So the videos can run all day automatically by themselves. And uh, if you want to use the, you know, the fully browser, you can just um, come across and touch it or wave across it like so, and it brings it back in. Fully uh, kiosk is uh, very versatile. Um, it uh, basically shows you a web page on your little kiosk in store. Um, you can just use your web page as a normal web page. As you can see, it's still work. It's still trying to go on a screensaver. Okay, we're going to um, look at one of our suppliers website. From the supplier's website, we can open it here. We're going to open the Tools for Industry website. In the Tools for Industry website, we can then open and find a product we may be interested in or the customer we're interested in who might could be standing at the counter. Uh, we find a product, we say he wants a sandblaster, he wants a sandblasting hopper. When we get to the product itself, this Tools for Industry has in the section a product brochure. We can actually go to the brochure, which is a PDF format, downloads as a PDF, ready to print. So from that, we can hit print. We've already set up a printer to work with our Samsung. It sends out a cross, and we then have a brochure we can hand to the customer from our fully kiosk browser. If we just wanted to look at the brochure, instead of going to that, we can actually just um, view it as a PDF. Once we get it loaded, we can say, oh, yep, there it is. That's what, what I know. Oh, can you print me a copy of that? So we can go then basically up to the top here in the corner and we can go to print. It will then take us back across to the Samsung print copy and we can hit print again and set it to the printer and we'll have a copy in, in, in uh, ready to take and give to the customer. So a great application and versatility ready to go all the time sitting there just ready to ready to do um, important stuff like finding brochures etc and more information to help the customers so we can sell products for them and they can uh, be more informed.